work in a strictly operational role, especially for the eclipse, is a first-time visitor to the Canary Islands, 001, the Anglo-French Concorde. This is one way of getting above the Earth's atmosphere, practically and for all intents and purposes. The Concorde will be flying along the track of totality for this eclipse, joining it on the Mauritanian side, moving into the totality area and crossing it gradually over a whole distance of about a thousand miles. Now the plan here is to keep pace with the moon's shadow as it crosses the desert. As you know, the shadow will be moving at something like 1,500 miles an hour, and this is one way of keeping pace with that movement. The shadow is a tiny circular dot on the desert, and if Concorde stays in the center of that dot for as long as it can, we can have an eclipse instead of six or seven minutes lasting for up to an hour and more. So this is the Concorde plan. Experiments have been installed on the aircraft, poking through holes that have been cut in the shell, looking straight out at the sun through a minimum of Earth's atmosphere. We are undoubtedly assured of some very effective results from this sort of experiment. One of the experiments that's being carried on Concorde this time will be to investigate the appearance of the corona in infrared light. Now this requires specific techniques. Above all, it needs to be clear of the Earth's atmosphere. So this equipment's being flown at a very high altitude and the equipment will poke straight through the side of Concorde, which has been quite an expensive operation to get the panels made, of course, and then observations will be made at that right temperature. <laughs> 